How I got back at a pushy guy on a bad first date. When I was 18 years old 10 years ago I was doing the online dating thing. I live in the US and am about 15 minutes from the Canadian border. My date and I went to Canada together on a first date because I couldn't drink in the US but could in Canada, and we wanted to go to a bar casino. He picked me up in his little sports car and we rode together through the border crossing and to the casino. We played some games and had some drinks and were having a decent time. I got to a point where I was decently drunk and knew if I had any more alcohol I would be out of commission. I told my date I was done drinking and wanted to start heading home. Instead of listening to me he went and got us both another round of drinks and he handed me a big Long Island iced tea. I told him point blank I couldn't drink it because I was at my limit. He didn't take too kindly to that and got pushy. He told me you have to drink it. I bought it for you. If you don't drink it you're going to make me waste money. No matter how many times I told him no, he continued to push me on this. I got very frustrated and upset because I was alone with this pushy man in another country, and I was very upset with myself for getting into this situation. We argued for a while and eventually I snapped and formulated a little plan. He agreed to take me home after I finished the drink. I took the drink from him and chugged it. We got into his car and started for the border. It's important to note that this guy was very proud of his car. He spent the whole drive to the border telling me about all the features and how much he loved it. I spent the whole drive ignoring him and focusing on keeping my sick stomach under control. My goal was to make it through the border crossing at least, which was proving pretty difficult. We did eventually make it through the border crossing and as soon as we made it back to the US I turned in my seat to look him in the eyes, and I told him, I didn't appreciate how you forced alcohol down my throat after I repeatedly told you no. I know my limits and you ignored and disrespected me. I said I couldn't drink more for a reason. Then, while maintaining direct eye contact with him, I started vomiting in his car. I knew this was coming and specifically oriented myself to cause as much damage as possible. I threw up on the seat, the floor, the dash, etc. He was freaking out and I just started crying and telling him this was his fault and he could either take me home or let me out of the car now, but I will call the police if he doesn't proceed with one of the two options. He dropped me off at home and I never saw him again. 